Hey team, I hope all you are doing really well in 2024. Guys, today we will discuss about the threat intelligence interviewer questions part 2. Part 1 and few videos I had already uploaded in the past sessions. Kindly visit those because these videos I am uploading in a sequence manner so that the sequence or the continuity of the videos will get in a proper manner. So guys, without time wasting, let's start this session. Interviewer, is firewall an intelligent device? He is asking actually, what do you think that it has capability to deal with the threat and how will you make firewall as an intelligent tool? Guys, uh, interviewer uh, generally asked such questions to ensure that whether you have the knowledge of, I mean the basic knowledge of firewall or not. So candidate should have asked firewall is a passive device hence it is not intelligent. Why passive? Because uh, whatever the rule or policies we feed in the firewall it it reacts accordingly right means firewall doesn't have any uh, own brain or something related to that so that they can react with the threat and um, and prevent our uh, organization. So guys, firewall has no capability to deal with the threat because of its passive nature. Whatever we feed as a rule or policy, it reacts accordingly. To make firewall as intelligent, I would suggest to integrate the threat intelligent tool, but it's a very complex process. So leave the firewall as an alone and uh, and if we want to make our uh, infrastructures more uh, active, then um, we should implement the threat intelligent tool alone. But integration with firewall is a very complex process. Coming to the next question, interviewer. Have you heard the name of IOC? Can you some uh, can you name some IOC guys? IOC is a very general term. I hope you have heard earlier. IOC is the uh, is the indicator of compromise, right? That means guys, IOC is nothing but our flag or notifications for detection of event, right? Whenever we uh, whenever uh, the alert was generated, because alert was generated on the on the basis of hitting the policies right when something is uh, uh, going against our policy then the policy may um, may bring an alert such alert are called iocs so from ioc we make sure that something wrong happening in organization which help us to analyze reassess the systems which results prevent our data from hackers so, so IOC is very, very general terms. Um, it uh, actually IOC provide us the notifications or the flags depending upon the detection of any security event. Guys, here two questions has been asked by the interview. Can you name some IOC? So let's see what are the some uh, IOCs in the next slide. Guys, there there are multiple uh, IOCs, but uh, but I am highlighting only few like unusual traffic incoming or outgoing from network is our IOCs because they bring the alert uh, as a SOC analyst for SOC analyst. Point number B is unknown file processing in systems and next is unsuccessful login attempts. So these are the certain uh, bullet points in which we receive the alerts uh, uh, against the security events. So overall any notification or a detection of events which help us to protect the threat which is called our IOC. Coming to the next interview question. What is IOA? How it is differ from IOC? Guys both terms are related to each other. Um, IOC is the indicator of attack. However, IOC was indicator of a compromise. What is IOC? So this is the advanced version of IOC actually. The main purpose of IOA is to investigate the intent of attack and the potential behavior of threat. It analyzes the pattern of threat and uh, respond accordingly. That means IOS, IOA is the one step ahead of IOC. IOC only bring us the um, bring us the alert or uh, some notifications when our policy gates break. However, IOA IOA um, IOA uh, is actually investigating the intent of attack and uh, and it understood the potential behavior of the particular threat. 
so guys this is the main difference ioc detect the security events only however ioa investigate the intent of attack and analyze the behavior pattern of the particular threats so this is the basic difference between these two guys thank you for watching i hope this videos really helps you kindly subscribe hit the bell icon and don't forget to share one more thing guys if you have any queries and if you are struggling to crack the interviews do uh, comment your questions i will provide you the appropriate answers for the same thank you so much